Hello everyone and welcome back to Nine Nails Garage. Today I'm going to show you how to properly repair a rock chip in your vehicle's paint. The truck we're working on today is my 2006 Dodge Ram and we've got a pretty good sized rock chip right in the driver's side door here. So as you can see it's about the size of a pencil eraser and uh, it's pretty sightly. You can see it from a good ways away and it's pretty ugly. So here's everything I'm going to use to properly fix this paint chip. All this stuff you can get at your local uh, auto parts store. It may not be the exact thing, but it's going to be something that's going to work just as well. So I've got one quart of PW7 automotive paint. You can also use a paint bin too. You can get those at auto parts stores. Those are more readily available than a quart of paint. Then you're going to need some clear coat. A lot of paint pens come with clear coat on the other side of the applicator. We've got wax and grease remover. This is just water in the spray bottle. That's all you're going to need. Don't use uh, any kind of detailer because that'll mess up your job. Next, you're going to need some kind of rubbing compound and also some kind of polish. Then a buffer. You can do it by hand. It's just going to take a lot longer, but this is my Dewalt single action buffer and I have a 3M perfected pad on there. Microfiber towel, we got 2000 and 3000 grit sandpaper. I've got a little sponge here that I cut and uh, just folded it over and that works really well. This is what I use to put that, the paint and the clear coat on the chip. I use a little wood here, I'll cut it off and I'll make like a little pointy wood chip. Works very well for putting, uh, for putting the paint on the chip and uh, I use this for the clear coat. Uh, you can use a toothpick, skewer stick, whatever. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our 2000 grit sandpaper and we're gonna clean up around the outside of the chip here. The paint will be knocked up in the center of the rock chip. Rock chip here and this is your normal paint. So that's all nice and flat, but when your rock or whatever it is hits this area, it kind of pushes the paint up on the edges. You may not be able to see it, but you can definitely feel it if you rub your fingers over it. So when we take the 2000 grit sandpaper, it's gonna knock that ridge down and it's gonna allow the paint to fill in nice and evenly. So now we're gonna spray a little water on our sandpaper and we'll lightly sand around the area to knock those ridges down. You don't wanna to get too carried away with this because you don't wanna sand through your clear coat in the surrounding area, but you definitely wanna make sure the edges of the paint are knocked down and nice and flat. And we'll use some wax and grease remover to clean up the inside of the chip in there. Next, I'm gonna use a little scribe just to clean up the bare metal on the inside of this rock chip. I think this chip has been here for a little while and uh, it's developed you know, a little bit of corrosion on it. So we wanna do whatever we can to get any dirt or uh, any kind of corrosion on the metal out of there and just get it cleaned up before we put paint on it. So just very carefully going around there. And we'll wipe it again with our wax and grease remover. And we'll use our piece of wood or paintbrush, whatever, to just kind of lightly put some paint in there, move it around to the outside of the chip. Make sure you get everything. Now we're going to let that sit and dry for about 15 to 20 minutes, and then we'll come back and put another coat on it. Now that the first coat is dry, we'll come back and we'll put a second coat on. And we'll put one more coat on it. So now that we let the paint dry for about two hours, we're going to go ahead and wet sand whatever paint that we got outside of the chip there. And we'll wax and grease remove one more time. And just put a little bit of clear coat over the top of it. And after 15 minutes, we'll throw on one more coat. So it has been a full 24 hours since we put the clear coat on here and it's fully cured and dry. So before we sand it, just a trick, if you put a little too much clear coat on there, you can kind of shave it off with a razor blade. And what you do is you put tape over the edges of the razor blade and this will allow you to knock down the higher parts of the clear coat and get it to a more workable, even level. Now that we did that, we're gonna come back with our 2000 grit sandpaper and we're gonna wet sand this whole area so it's all nice and even. Now that we got everything all nice and level, we're gonna hit it with our 3000 grit and remove the scratches that we put in it with the 2000 grit. Now we'll grab our buffer and we'll use rubbing compound. And now the final step, we'll hit it with our polishing compound. Bye. 
And if you do it right, you should barely be able to see the repair, if at all. Thanks for watching my video on how to properly repair a rock chip in your vehicle's paint. I hope you learned something. If you did, please like, share, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.